Every game needs a mascot. League of Legends has Teemo, Rainbow Six has Tachanka, and Dota 2 has Gaben. I can be reached at Gaben, 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 at ValveSoftware.com. Sure, those aren't the mascots chosen by the game publishers themselves, but oftentimes fans will choose their own for the games that they love. All they need is a meme. And for Counter-Strike, that symbol of solidarity is chicken. Video games have been obsessed with chickens for years. From the slowly decaying chickenometer of Attic Attack, to Streets of Rage 2's chicken cordon sidewalk, to the vengeful poultry of Zelda, everyone's favorite white meat keeps finding its way into games. But CSGO's iconic fowl mascot didn't actually begin its journey in Counter-Strike. In fact, it was lifted from another game entirely. You're nothing but a common thief. I'm an exceptional thief. The chicken model that appeared in the original Counter-Strike was hatched in a 1998 Quake 2 mod called Catch the Chicken. It was basically a capture the flag mode where the flag was replaced with a clearly agitated cock. <laughs> The mod was popular enough that two map designers, Glenn Cooper and Jason Green, borrowed the chicken model while working on Italy for Counter-Strike in 2000. They wanted to give the map an identity, so they added things like classical Italian music that played in specific areas. Unique textures, and of course, the chickens. That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch. While they kind of looked like chickens, they might have been even more brainless than the actual bird, standing around pecking the ground, completely ignorant to the chaotic war zone surrounding them. I don't know, that sounds pretty realistic to me. On holiday. The chicken's eternal cycle of death and rebirth was mercifully halted in 2004 with their exclusion from Counter-Strike Source. But that reprieve was short-lived, as that same year Valve released Condition Zero, which featured minor cameos from our feathered flightless friends, who had developed another barnyard language. Eight years later, Valve released CSGO, which boasted not just an improved tactical FPS experience, but upgraded chickens as well. <laughs> Global Offensive's birds weren't just visually more believable. No, they were also given AI, making them mobile and reactive to sound and movement. Chickens were no longer shackled to their spawn points. They were given free range of the map to die wherever they pleased. <laughs> While the war seasoned fowl has been part of Counter-Strike for 20 years, it was in Global Offensive that it truly became the series' mascot. They can be found occupying a number of the maps, most notably Cobble and Inferno, and you can even treat them like pets. The dream's alive, chickens. Come on, come on, come on, come on, buddies. Buck, yes, there we go, there we go. Oh my God. This is what dreams are made of, babies. But most importantly, in CSGO, the chickens are woke. They are battle-wise birds who won't hesitate to run from danger. And over the years, this immersion mechanic has actually impacted pro matches, occasionally providing crucial visual cues for players. Still alive, but 13 HP, that's the thing. Oh, there you go. How did Skidoodle get that shot? I'm sure he shot before Kenny was out. But chickens aren't always beneficial to a player holding an angle. Sometimes they can wander in front of your crosshairs and even take a bullet for the enemy. Mr. President, get down! And most frustratingly, they're even capable of blocking doors. Fur has done a massive job. With 10 seconds left, Rops has to hold onto his gun. Chicken blocking the door? I've not seen that before. If that gets him killed, oh my god. A chicken blocking the door just got Rops killed. That's right. CSGO gave chickens real power. The power to kill. Up. Ah!
Because of the potential risk they presented, players would kill chickens on sight if possible. And in 2013, Valve reacted to this seemingly cruel trend by quieting the chicken's squawks and reducing the chances of them running. While chickens will still run if they hear gunfire, oddly, they don't care about silenced weapons going off right next to them. To find out why that is, we went straight to our source, Charles Chickens. Look, we've lived in war zones for almost 20 years, so when we hear gunfire it invigorates us. We do not flee from silence. We may be chickens, but we're not chicken shit. Get that mic out of my face, mother clucker. Anyway, despite being inherently out of place, the CS community has really latched on to chicken. And it makes perfect sense, considering they're the most whimsical, hilarious part of the game. Over the years, chickens have become fuel for some of CSGO's most potent memes. From fan movies about them rising up in revenge... What the hell is going on? <laughs> ...to an actual chicken predicting the results at the London Major. Don't be a chicken. Anxious in anticipation. Can we just confirm that there's food in both sides? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, oh wow. It's done it again. Oh, he steps up to the platform. Oh, oh yeah. he's got for the... You know what? I always knife the chickens. I'd knife them too. There was even the complicated saga of a player named Chicken hilariously invading pro game lobbies at ESL1 Katowice in 2015. <laughs> Chicken in the lobby here. Yeah. He really, really wants to play. He has a good rank as well. I, you can see that he has the level to play in this semi-final, you know? <laughs> Valve has even encouraged chicken fandom by making merchandise, gun stickers, and supporting regular holiday updates that give chickens funny attire. Like during Halloween when they were turned into ghosts and zombies, which allowed them to seek vengeance on the bastards that murdered them in the first place, or, you know, just to get blown to pieces again. And fans absolutely love these efforts by Valve to recognize their sacred bird. Because without the community, chicken wouldn't be what it is today. They took a goofy, pointless Easter egg and elevated it. First into a meme, and then into a mascot. Hey Miles, why did the chicken cross mid? I don't know why. To get to the other site. Oh God. <laughs> it sounds like a Steven Seagal movie, right? Cock puncher. <laughs> Steven Seagal is cock puncher. Foul language. <laughs> cock puncher. I don't think you have the balls. <laughs>